Eddie Hall is a power lifter. Power lifter, can you even call him that? I feel like that's like an understatement. Just look at the size of the man's everything. I don't know. This is Eddie Hall. He uploaded this video, World's Strongest Man versus Sumo Champion. I've been doing a fair amount of sumo. I'm not a sumo champion, but I'm a champion of sumo in that I support it. A person who fights or argues for a cause or on behalf of someone else. Yeah, so typically people would be a champion for things like women's rights. But we're gonna be a champion for sumo here. <laughs> And of course, just know that you can trust me and my sumo opinion because I have a t-shirt. I ordered it off Amazon. Anybody can do that theoretically, but just know. Oh, actually, you know what might help? Here we go. Does that help? My singular medal that I have in my entire room, which is for second place, read it and weep. All right, don't bring up the fact that it's second place, all right? Just like, let me have it, okay? Let me just, let me have this. Sumo, like most forms of wrestling, is thousands of years old. The beauty of sumo, very, very simple. Push your opponent outside the circle or push them to the ground. Okay. It's that easy. There's no complicated rule. It's so simple even that you wear pretty much nothing because anything else would complicate it. I bet he says that. The Gyoji, the referee, just says, and away you go. Okay. So it's literally, that's the, your whole objective is to push your opponent outside this ring. Exactly. Or under the ground, yes. Or push to the floor. Right, and I believe you gentlemen wear a certain, what's it called? It's called a mawashi. Mawashi. Basically a loincloth, probably about eight meters long. Might be a bit shorter, because you're quite slim, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he is kind of triangular. What a lot of people don't tell you about the mawashi too, is that it's it's hard. I mean, it's not supposed to be hard forever, but it's not like a soft underwear-ish fabric that's designed to, I don't know, catch poops. It's not a diaper. It looks like a reusable diaper that like a vegan mom uses, but it's not, that's not what it is. <laughs> Golly, that's a lot of man. What? Goodness gracious, you shouldn't have this much moving outwards this direction with ab lines still. Great banger. 100 kilo, British champion. Wow. A lot okay. lighter than you. What do you say, 100 kilo? All I want you to do is try to usher Banger out without falling flat on your face. Banger. Banger's his SoundCloud name, obviously, right? There's no way this guy's name is Banger. I don't know. It is Britain. Are Britain and England different things? Let's just actually, let's just be candid about this for a second. Can you guys just tell me real quick, are Britain and England different things? Are Britain and Wales? Are they the same? Uh, obviously I know Scotland and Ireland, those are different things, but whales? Are there any whales there? This is all entirely too complicated for sumo mind. Let's just, let's just go. What's a hundred kilos? Gosh, I'm all over the place tonight. 100 kg to pounds. 220, okay, so this was the same division that I competed in, was what this guy weighs. Eddie Hall must not be very tall. I guess it's, there's a reason they call him Eddie Hall and not Eddie Tall. <laughs> you can just cut that joke off if you want. You may want to try to lift him out, walk him out. Or he may just usher him out, just push him out. I'd be willing to bet Eddie Hall could pick this boy up and throw him over his shoulder like a bad child at a grocery store. I would just be willing to bet that. Step by step. Sorry. If he can touch the ground. He can touch the ground. Oh, he started very easy on the touchy eye for him. What would I do if he gets this position? Just stand your ground. Okay. Now, he's got a slight advantage. This is not a good place to push from. If you guys want to watch the video and listen to this guy talk a bunch, then you're more than welcome to, but this is my video. What's interesting is it's so hard to just push someone directly straight back because it's a circle. You could be pushing them, and then if they turn even a little bit, now you are just as close to the edge as they are because it's a circle. Like, in order to get to the very end, you have to get to a point where the amount of space around you to the left and right has to be the smallest. So any small mistake you make could lead you going to the wrong way. It's much trickier than you would expect to push somebody out of a circle. Much better hip position here by Eddie. Would love to see that hand not just sitting on his lap. Did you see what you did? You stepped out. Right. Hey, Eddie, just move him. Eddie, you could just pick him up and throw him. Surely he knows this, right? I kind of want to just skip to him actually trying. Slowly, 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 slowly. Edge him out. That's it. Now pick that head up. Oh, he's tired. Interesting. He's done like three rounds. This, is, this should be right up Eddie's. How? What? He looks like my spider senses on his feet or something. Is he trying now? I... Pick him up, just pick him up. You can. Man, he's gassed. Wow, interesting. 
So my guess on to why he's gassed, if these were real bouts, I don't think he would be this tired because they wouldn't last this long. I feel confident that he he, he should be doing really well in this. By the time it's over, he's, he's going to be launching people, I'm sure of it. It's going to be in very short bursts, but the boy is tired by now. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Also, sumo is much more tiring than you would expect. You use every single muscle that you have. Every single one. There's not one that you shouldn't be using. In a sumo contest, how many bouts do you have? Just None. One. Just one. So normally, sumo is just a knockout. You lose the first round, that's it, finished. What we do in this country is everybody will fight everybody twice. Hmm. Whoever has the most wins, <laughs> that will be the, the winner. It just, I think it just depends on the tournament. Like, depending on how many people you have, it could be a regular single elimination. It could be double elimination. In Japan, like, the, it's not really a tournament. It's about how many wins you get over a specific amount of days. It just kind of depends. Like, over here, we're doing amateur sumo compared to what Japan's doing. It's just not the same level. We don't do the same stuff either. Also, the people who do it in the U.S., it's not their job. I can't imagine anybody's getting paid to do sumo except for kind of technically me because I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, for the most part, everybody who's doing sumo in the US has a job. People who are doing sumo in Japan, that is their whole life. Not even just their job, like it's everything. All right, let's get to some movement here. In Geneva, a few years ago, well, that's Yama. That's a few decades ago, and he was- That's not Yama. 300 kilograms. Now, I managed to beat him purely because I was quite a technical wrestler, a bit like a banger. But to find people over 200 kilograms who aren't, they are few and far between, but they are there. Yeah, right. Um, your weight is uncommon. So uh, at my biggest, I was 196 kilo. Right. <laughs> oh my God, look at the size of him. He looks like he put a bunch of balloons in him. That's wild. Even his face is like, it looks like you took him on Photoshop and like, Zach, do something where you like stretch him apart or something, you know, like a pfft. Anyway, I want to see him actually start to move around a little bit. Ooh, we'd love to see him drag the inside of his foot here. See how he's taking a big step up and down? I don't mind that personally in a lot of situations. I'm not an expert, I'm a YouTuber, but he'd ideally like to slide this foot a little bit more, just so you have more connection with the ground regularly, so you can push whenever you want. But then also, because if your foot is up and you get pushed, there's a chance that you put it down outside of the ring. Okay, going with the Karate Kid headband, very interesting. Eddie versus Oh, bang or. <laughs> bang or? I hardly. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, head's way too far down. Let's see if he can get his hips back underneath him. I can't imagine that. Let's. He's gonna try and swim underneath? Or is he just gonna go reach over top of the belt? He's gotta keep his hips really low for that. Nice. Let's see if Rob goes easy on him. Not a lot of tachi eye out of Eddie. Tachi eye being the initial burst, the poof, the smashing that happens right off the bat. A lot of amateur sumo from what I've seen is less about the tachi eye and more about the wrestling that happens afterwards. This is dang, oh, I was just about to say this is real dangerous to have this foot in this close because of any type of wrestling, anytime you have this leg this close, you're kind of likely to be turned that direction. You can't commit too much, especially like I mentioned, this is a circle. So if the person is closest to the edge, you're also close to an edge that's right next to you. Don't commit too much. Don't commit too much. Then he just stepped out. Was that me? Yeah, that was you, buddy. I Step to yeah, yeah. So in that instance, am I better if just falling on him? Yes, I feel like the answer is yes. Yeah. Man, they're really quick to slide. Like they're really quick to slide. I think it's probably a slippery mat is my guess. But like, look at how quickly these people, their feet just kind of, oh, he goes for a turn there. Deep sliding a lot. Let's see if Deep can get his feet underneath him. That might have been Eddie. My Eddie might have won that. That was close. Let's see. One underestimated thing about sumo, if you do sumo, you should figure out your break falls because this type of situation happens a lot. And if you don't know how to fall, it would suck. Especially in Japan when those dudes fall off the actual platform. That's wild to me. Let's see who won this. Eddie's arm does touch first. And then the knee is very close after that. 
This foot might have touched. So they would probably go for what you would call like a mono E, which would be kind of too close to say, let's call a rematch. If it was like a good match, they would do that. <sighs> which is so hype, by the way. <laughs> oh. The shoulder thing, that's why you need break falls. You gotta be able to figure out like, okay, do I need to roll out of this? Should I do a break fall? Should I land on top of the person? Which is like a really weird thing to get used to. Good head positioning by Rob. Oh, it goes to the Uchimata, doesn't get it. Really has his body committed now. You gotta be careful with that. Courtney's real good to be able to get that space and use his hands. That leg is committed a lot by Eddie though. Courtney doing a good job of tiring him out. Putting that foot against the rope. <laughs> oh, they're doing a tournament. Oh wait, well you knackered, Eddie. No, I'm okay. Aren't you knackered, Eddie? Is that Wales? Is it Britain? Is it the UK? The United Is the United Kingdom different than Britain or England? How many names do you guys have? Are those all like different provinces? Like London's a city. I get that. London's a city, right? I'm very confused. Actually, the most I know about England right now would be like Ted Lasso is a coach for AFC Richmond. Spoilers. Sorry if that was a spoiler. Great show, by the way. You should watch Ted Lasso. Oh. <laughs> this. Ugh. Ugh. He just transformed into what is a essentially like a, a really full wheelbarrow. I don't know. Am I wrong to think that him in this position looks like a looks like a really full wheelbarrow? No, is it just me? Okay, that's fine. Let's go Bangor. Bangor is just a little undersized there. Oh. Head too far forwards, Eddie. If you sit there for a second or two and you start going, you're bound to get snapped down. And I think that's just a product of Eddie being tired. <laughs> All right, Eddie and Rob now. Eddie's got his hands underneath him. I'm telling you, putting hands on somebody's armpits is one of the best ways to lift people and move people reliably. It's so hard to get a hand out of your armpit. And once it's in there, I mean, think about like, you're just like, a, like you just kind of just get shoved around, you know? It's a great way to move people is to put your hand underneath that armpit. Just don't smell your fingers later. Good job, Mike. And he's so hyped to win one. He's like, yeah, I did it. Fuck you it! All right, let's see it. He put the hands on the belt and it's just going for the walkout. Get those hands underneath. There were two players, two fighters, who have had just had two losses. So the grand final. Here we go. Is between Eddie and Dean. Did Eddie win most of those bouts? Also, these guys are pretty much the exact same size, just with a slightly different build. But did Eddie only lose two? That's very surprising. I mean, Eddie's a big boy. Yourselves. Let's get it. God, what is this editing? Who's who's editing Eddie Hall's videos? Like I respect this shot, but you can't have this shot and then a black frame. It just takes it takes you right out of it. it takes you right out of it, Ed, Ed, Edmund. Can I? Can I, Edmund? What I'd love to see out of Eddie this match is a lot of explosiveness. Cause he's very strong, he's very obviously hard to move, but a little bit of explosiveness here, yeah, I think he smokes him. <laughs> Got the hands in between. That's big, that's huge. Can he keep the hands there? That's what I'm saying. Keep those hands in between. Big. He just got me hyped up a little bit. Good job, man. Good job. He was trying there too. Bicep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he has a torn bicep, I think. Results are in. Eddie, the beast hole! Yeah, Eddie's a freak. Just a freak. Uh, I'm not really familiar with how explosive Eddie is, but those guys at a high level, they don't just move people around. They throw people. They launch people. Like, you, there's a bit of, like, a, a pop to it. You know what I mean? Didn't see a lot of pop with Eddie, but goodness gracious. I mean, just so structurally sound and thick. Oh, you got a, you got a statue. I got a statue. I want that. Really proud of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. The other lads were just talking to me there. You've got the World Championships in October in Japan. Shout out to my boy, Eric. I think Edibo is competing in that. Those are both two of our guys from Rajin Sumo in North Carolina here. I think they're gonna do well. They launch folks, launch them. Anyway, this is a very fun video to react to. Thank you guys for sending me that. If you have any more stuff that you want me to review, make sure you check it down below. Nope, don't check out anything. Just comment, comment what you want me to look at. Sorry, my computer is absolutely humming right now. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.
Bye.